crap, wait a minute. Do you see that? I'll do it again in a, mo in a moment, but... Can you see anything? Okay, I'm just asking if the uh, stream is back on. Like, can you see the screen? Can you see, like, the gameplay? It's not a troll, that's a lurker. It's a... Uh, it's, like it's like a gigantic fish man. Now, there's something I gotta show you real quick. Can you see its body light up blue every now and then? Every time I hit it with an arrow, can you see its body light up blue a little bit? That's because I'm casting a thing called Soul... Tra this arrow not only has a fire enchantment on it, it also is casting like this Soul Trap enchantment on it as well. Now... Oh, he's dead. Killed the giant fish thing. Now, just discover this. The bridge is being soul trapped a slight bit. Is that how they make it, like, bend like that? Is this bridge technically slightly... Al Do they have to put a bit of, like, living like thing code into this bridge in order to make it work like that there's something with the coding but because of these bendable bridges see it doesn't work on this because it doesn't it never moved these moved earlier that's so cool I'm learning a bit about the game's coding without meaning to The bridges can be soul trapped, technically. Or at least have the pew that appears around them when you do that. Hold on, can this thing also have that happen? That's two! Apparently, any moving item can be soul trapped like that. It's getting the blue hue around it. I don't think a bridge will work. Can't try it on that, because it won't work. it. I'll take that. I'll take slaughterfish scales, actually. I'll take four of them if I can. Look, more bendable bridges. Nope, never mind. Found the black book. Hang on. This will move if I uh, interact with it. Will it work? Yes, it just had the blue hue appear. That's so cool. I'll take that. Sounds... Book two, book three, book five. I have a Conjure Ash spawn spell on me yet. So cool! I gotta go try this on other things that move in the game. Like a, like a chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, I found all the black books. Now, what does this one give up? It can either be... More... Mora's Agony? Summons a field of writhing tentacles that poisons foes. Uh, no. Oh, Hermaeus Mora. Mora's Grasp. Amriel for 30 seconds, making them immune to all damage. So, basically, you make them ethereal. Fully restores your health, magicka, and stamina. What? Take that, I guess. It's, 
I believe it's like a spell. Now back to soul time, please. I'm out of here. Whoops. Hang on, there's a chest around here. Yep, that so basically anything that can move can work like that. So, ew. That's interesting. What quest am I in the middle of doing now? Go back all the way up, please. Eh. Oh yeah, talk to her. I'm having fun. Apparently the red vol red mountain the volcano is constantly erupting. The lore of Elder Scrolls is confusing yet interesting. Damn that man. He's good. Now maybe Neloth will get off my back a bit. I suppose you think you... Here, take these. I'll sell you more if you come back Ocean later. Ocean of ultimate well-being? Don't tell me that it, that heals up everything, does it? Oh, oh. It just heals a hundred points of all three things. Mafala, thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. What was that? No, literally, what was that? Did that come from the game? Hi, Dusty. Hello, Silk Strider. want to go here. Wait, not yet. So far I have, I think, three. Two items of the death. Yep, one, two. I only have two of the death brand armor things. So I gotta figure out where the rest are. And there's this other thing I want to do as well, but I gotta figure out where it is. So up, oh, just to the south of here. Okay. Hey, look, Red Mountain in the background. Killing them. I'll sit right here and wait. Go kill them. Nicely done.
this the one they dug up? Ooh, treasure hunter. Yep, they found it. I'm glad I don't have to do the digging. <laughs> it's always some other sucker that did it. Death brown, death brown boots. Ooh, that's interesting. But I can't do that. I gotta make myself some boots. I gotta enchant my boots so I can carry stuff more. And the last one is up in the top left of the island. Somewhere, I think, at near Bristleback Cave. Let's check that map again. Around that area, yes, but there's a bit of a what looks like a river cutting through that a part of it. Or is it not a river and instead just oh, it's right here. Just go to Waterstone and follow up the coastline until we find it. And there's another thing I want to show. Look at that armor made of enchanted ice. Plus the sword of one, too. I wonder how is it it's possible to smith with ice. Look, bristlebacks. Hello, boars. Uh, excuse me. Uh. Oh, look, netches. Don't mind me. I'm just going to cut across. What? Not cast! Yep, leaving me alone because I'm leaving them alone. Those things are tough. And I. Yep. And they are easy to kill. Boop! Well, hey, the crabs dug it, dug it up this time. Yay! Now I just gotta unlock it. And I did. Now I gotta go to Gildenhall Barrow. Which is where we're gonna run into a boss fight. Yay! I think I'll go there the long way. Hello, Reichlings. I have a friend here for you. Oh, oh wrong thing. Porkers! Porkers! Bye bye. And they're attacking me for no good reason. Paralyzed. <laughs> Statue. Jerk. Killed him. And now that the east, and now that those, oh, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, just a regular mud crab. Look, Nordic barnacles, yay. There's a special one of the, up. Oh. I'm getting tired of finding gems and chests because I can't keep carrying them all. Hello there. Ew, ebony. Ugh. Look. Nern root. Keep your chest.
wouldn't leave me alone. Hold on, I think Old Salty had something special on him. Yep, he actually had some stuff on him. Horker Island over there? Might be. What? Not cast! Or it's just a source of some stall room. Let's take the stall room. Battle Axe of Terror? Mining this will get me some strange items. Again? Alright, be right back. <laughs> 